<laughs> Lunch time, kiddo. In the seventh universe, currently in the seventh universe, more precisely on the planet of the God of Destruction, it was possible to see Goku, Vegeta, and Yamoshi facing each other. The three Saiyans were transformed into their true Super Saiyan God forms. The battle of the three Saiyans ended when Whis suddenly appeared in their midst holding the blow of the three Saiyans who were surprised by his arrival. Yamoshi said, Whis? I thought you were talking to your father and your brothers, Yamoshi said as he left the combat stance and took a more relaxed stance, just like Goku and Vegeta. Whis said, and I talked to them, Miss Yamoshi, you will have to go to the World of Void to participate in the succession tournament where you will have to face the other gods of destruction and if you win you will become the official goddess of destruction of the seventh universe, but Goku also has to go because my father knows about Excalibur. My father asked you to take the sword for him, maybe he will keep the Excalibur, Vegeta is invited to go too," said the angel while looking at the three Saiyans who were surprised by all the information received, but Yamoshi already knew that this would happen at any moment and was even ready for it. Yamoshi thought, I'm finally going to officially assume the role of Goddess of Destruction, so I can hide my secret more easily and I'm also going to continue protecting the planet from the Namekians and the entire universe and I already know how I'm going to do that. The Saiyan girl thought because Goku was in her future plan. Vegeta said, so Beerus is going to stop being the god of destruction of the seventh universe, seriously? The Saiyan prince asked while looking at Whis and then at Yamoshi. Whis said, Mr. Beerus, like some gods of destruction, was not committed to his duties and because of that my father made the decision to replace him, but my father needs someone strong and committed and due to Yamoshi's latest actions. He saw that the ancestor of the Saiyans is doing her job as goddess of destruction very well and now my father just needs to see if Yamoshi is really strong. She said the angel while looking at the prince of the Saiyans. Yamoshi said, okay, then let's go find these other gods of destruction because I want to go visit Yuhiko so I can talk to her. She said the ancestor of the Saiyans while returning to her base form as well as Goku and Vegeta. Whis. Upon hearing Yamoshia's words he hit his staff in the air making a pillar of energy surround his body along with everyone present and soon everyone disappeared from that place and in a few seconds the three Saiyans and the angel reappeared in the world of the void, which was the place where the tournament of power had taken place in the past. When Yamoshi arrived at the place she attracted everyone's attention, especially the god of destruction from the 11th universe who was called Vermouth. Vermouth said, so this is the one who will take Beerus place? This woman is incredibly beautiful. I hope she's single, the god of destruction from the 11th universe said very excitedly when he looked at Yamoshi and saw her beauty, that didn't please his Anya called Margarita at all. Beerus thought, apparently Yamoshi has already managed to attract the attention of some gods of destruction like Vermouth and that's not a big surprise, after all he's always going after women he thinks are beautiful. But now is not the time to think about the opinion of the other gods of destruction at the moment I have to focus on facing and beating Yamoshi to continue being the god of destruction in my universe and even though I don't really want to stay in that position. I don't I can lose to a girl, I won't let it happen under any circumstances, thought the god of destruction of the seventh universe while looking at Yamoshi who wanted to take her position, Yamoshi was also staring at Beerus in the world of the void. Currently in the Void World it was possible to see that all the Gods of Destruction were gathered for the Succession Tournament where Yamoshi would have to face all the Gods of Destruction to prove himself worthy and powerful enough to officially become the new Goddess of Destruction of the Seven Degrees Universe and in addition to the Divine Beings, Goku and Vegeta were present, who were not only invited but also already possessed a power similar to that of Divine Beings. Yamoshi said, apparently I will be forced to face all these gods of destruction to become the new goddess of destruction of the seventh universe, but I still think it is an exaggeration that I have to face all the gods of destruction. After all I should face just Beerus since I'm going to replace him and not the other gods of destruction, but that's just my opinion and at the moment it's worthless. She spoke to Saiyan as she looked at all the gods of destruction and realized that there were some among them who were looking at her with different eyes. But Yamoshi didn't care as he was already used to these looks. Daishinkin said, Your opinion really isn't important at the moment Yamoshi, but in reality her wish will come true. 
Originally, you were supposed to face all the gods of destruction to become the new goddess of destruction of the seventh universe, but Mr. Beerus made the request to turn this tournament into a duel of succession, where if Beerus wins he remains the god of destruction, and if he loses Yamoshi will become the new goddess of destruction, said the high priest while looking at everyone present, especially Beerus and Yamoshi. Yamoshi thought, much better to face Beerus alone than to face all the gods of destruction, this way it will be easier and faster for me to take on the official role of Goddess of Destruction and protect everyone from a great evil that is to come. Of course just being a goddess it won't be enough and I'll need Goku to impregnate me for my plan to work. I have to create a warrior as strong as both of us, Yamoshi said excitedly while looking at Beerus who was still serious. With Daishinkin's speech, everyone in the arena left and went to the stands, leaving only Yamoshi in the arena and then Beerus, who was in the stands, went to the arena and prepared to face Yamoshi. Daishinkin said, apparently you two are ready, so let the seventh universe god of destruction succession tournament begin said the high priest, starting the duel between Beerus and Yamoshi to find out who will be the new god of destruction of the seventh universe. Beerus and Yamoshi were standing there facing each other while a heavy atmosphere was in the air because of the serious and cold gaze of both warriors. Beerus and Yamoshi looked at each other as if they wanted to kill each other and they really intended to do that and the tension that was in the air was making everyone anxious for that fight and it didn't take long for both warriors to start releasing their auras doing everything around tremble, and when Beerus and Yamoshia's aura began to clash it caused an impact wave to be formed. Goku thought, is this just the shock of their power? Amazing, thought the Saiyan, surprised by what was happening in that fight. After the initial shock of Beerus and Yamoshia's auras, the place simply fell silent until both warriors disappeared and reappeared in front of each other, clashing their fists, generating a sonic boom that split the arena in half surprising everyone. Yamoshi and Beerus after clashing their fists they separated and Yamoshi immediately transformed into a super saiyan and advanced towards Beerus and when he approached him, Yamoshi started a sequence of blows that Beerus defended and when he found an opening he hit a hook in the chin from the saiyan girl followed by a kick to the abdomen that made Yamoshi go backwards. Yamoshi attacked with a beam of energy but Beerus used his energy of destruction to defend himself nullifying half of the power of that attack. Yamoshi seeing that her attack was not as effective, she advanced towards Beerus and halfway through she took on her Super Saiyan God form which made her faster and stronger than before and Beerus was not left behind and activated an aura made purely from its energy of destruction and advanced towards Yamoshi. Starting a fight between the two warriors at a high speed that generated impact waves strong enough to generate explosions throughout the arena. Everyone was surprised by that duel including the angels who didn't know the strength Yamoshi possessed and were surprised by how strong Beerus was in his current state. Yamoshi is the first to break the rhythm of the locked blows, landing a right cross on Beerus who felt a little stunned, something that Yamoshi took advantage of and landed a sequence of blows on Beerus' chest, finishing with a kick that threw Beerus away. But still in mid-air he balanced himself and when placing his feet on the ground Beerus caught a momentum that destroyed the ground and came forward with all his might, landing a punch at Yamoshi who defended himself by crossing his arms, but still ended up being thrown back, sinking his feet on the ground leaving a trail across the arena that already had several cracks from what was still left of the arena. Yamoshi was very surprised by the power that Beerus possessed and she was already getting tired and needed to end it as soon as possible and Beerus again advanced towards her and Yamoshi also did so, but in the middle of the journey Yamoshi created a sword made of ki, which surprised Beerus, who didn't have enough time to react and ended up receiving a blow that cut his cheek, causing blood to come out of the wound. When Beerus was injured, he backed away and growled, irritated at being bleeding, and Yamoshi gave a mocking smile, which made Beerus angrier, causing him to increase his power and create several spheres of destruction and throw them in the direction of Yamoshi, who used his own energy of destruction in his key sword and cut through all the spheres of destruction that came towards him with great mastery. Yamoshi said, is that all you have to show me? I thought the great god of destruction of the seventh universe was stronger than this said the ancestor of the Saiyans in a mocking manner, making light of the power that Beerus was demonstrating as it was insignificant compared to her total power and Beerus knew it. Beerus said, you say that, but so far you've only managed to make a mere cut on my face, 
I thought the Saiyan ancestor and my supposed successor was more powerful than that. Beerus spoke in a tone as mocking as Yamoshi is that she ended up getting irritated by it. Yamoshi said, so let's see who's stronger, you stupid cat. Yamoshi said before transforming again into his true Super Saiyan God form. After Yamoshi transformed, Beerus released his full power by removing the bracelets that Beerus was wearing which were in reality extremely heavy weights and without them now Beerus was stronger and faster than before. Beerus and Yamoshi once again began to exchange a sequence of series of blows at a breakneck speed, so much so that Goku and Vegeta were forced to transform again to be able to follow the fight and everyone else was paying close attention to the outcome of that battle. Some of them they were rooting for Beerus to win. Few were rooting for Yamoshi and there were those who weren't rooting for anyone as they were just enjoying that magnificent fight between two superpowers of planetary destruction. The battle at that moment was at a level that many thought it was impossible for those warriors to reach. Yamoshi and Beerus were exchanging a series of incessant punches and with each punch they landed on each other, it generated a wave of impact and explosions that caused the entire arena to be shattered leaving thousands of fragments scattered across that empty world, but soon everyone was able to see Beerus and Yamoshi one in each fragment of the arena, the two warriors were looking at each other. Both had wounds on their bodies along with some blood stains on their bodies and, especially in their mouths that were still losing some blood. Yamoshi said, you really are strong, so strong that you really deserve the title of God of Destruction of the Seventh Universe. But how about we use all our power and I will show you that I will take care of the seventh universe better than you and I need this position more than ever. At that moment there was silence in the arena and with that silence everyone was waiting to see which of the two warriors would make the first move, but neither of them moved. But it didn't take long for everyone to feel a shiver through their body followed by two pillars of energy that were being released by Beerus and Yamoshi that made the entire void world shake and the pressure was so much that Goku and Vegeta ended up fainting due to the power released by Yamoshi and Beerus and in a few minutes everyone saw the pillars disappear and with that everyone could see Yamoshi in his true god Super Saiyan form, using 100% of his power, his hair became huge with a slightly silver and white hue and Beerus had a similar shape the one that Topo had used during the tournament of power, but it had an aura a little different from Topo's, only the angels noticed it and knew what it was. Daishinkan said, apparently the real battle will begin at this point. The high priest said with a smile on his face, seeing the real battle begin and he knew that the end of this battle would be quick. After Daishinkan said these words, there was a huge explosion on the battlefield and it was possible to see that there was a person on the ground, that was the end of the battle and Daishinkan from his smile already knew who the big winner had been. Empty World After a long period of time, the battle between Beerus and Yamoshi using all their powers finally ended with the victory of Yamoshi, who managed to stay on his feet after the last attack where Beerus ended up on the ground. Even though Beerus used all his strength against Yamoshi, she managed to overcome his power thanks to the evolutionary characteristics that Saiyans possess and in the battle Yamoshi became strong enough to overcome Beerus and defeat him, as well as leaving him extremely injured, but in this case both were very injured. Yamoshi said, apparently you can't get up anymore and your energy is extremely low, Beerus, that means I managed to defeat you and the winner of this duel is me. She spoke a little breathlessly because she was very tired from having used a lot of her power throughout the battle and because of her injuries too, as she was very injured and one of her eyes could no longer open, but she could still see enough. Beerus thought, apparently that prophetic dream of mine was true, I ended up being defeated by the goddess of Saiyans and now I will lose my position as god of destruction to her. I should have trained more in the past, but I'm lazy, but that doesn't matter anymore after all my prophetic dream was right from the beginning I lost and I will probably die after leaving my role as God of Destruction. Thought the now former God of Destruction, already accepting his defeat and imminent death and now all he could do was lie on the ground. Wiz thought, so in the end Mr. Beerus ended up being defeated by Mrs. Yamoshi. I can say that of all the thousands of battles between divine beings that I have ever witnessed, this was by far the most intense of them all, but in the end, all of this was caused by Mr. Beerus himself. From the beginning he wanted to know if Yamoshi was still alive, I already imagined that something could happen and in the end that prophetic dream he had ended up coming true, but it only came true because Mr. Beerus went after him, because if he hadn't done that, 
he and Yamoshi wouldn't have met and none of this would be happening. But some bad things must happen so that other good things can happen in the future and now I hope that the seventh universe prospers more now that Yamo, she will be the new goddess of destruction of the seventh universe officially. Wiz thought, sad because he wouldn't spend much of his time with his best friend and student, but with Yamoshi now. Daishinkan said, as everyone can see, Beerus, the former god of destruction of the seventh universe, is unable to continue the fight and as Yamoshi, who is still standing, is the winner of this duel and because she is the winner, she will also be the new goddess of destruction of the seventh degree universe from this moment on, but let's make things official said the high priest before snapping his fingers, making Yamoshi and Beerus completely recover from both their injuries and their energy. Daishinkan, after recovering Beerus and Yamoshi's energy, began to float until he approached Yamoshi, who upon seeing this knelt down in respect and with that Daishinkan summoned his angel staff and placed it over Yamoshi's head. Daishinkan said, I, as high priest, make Yamoshi the new goddess of destruction of the seventh universe and Beerus, the former god of destruction of the seventh universe, will lose much of his power as he is no longer the god of destruction of the seventh universe. With Daishinkan's speech, Beerus' god of destruction clothes ended up disappearing, giving way to a priest-style outfit, something Beerus wore before he was a god of destruction, and Yamoshi is goddess of destruction clothes, which had been largely destroyed by cause of the battle against Beerus, but have now ended up being rebuilt by the power of Daishinkan. Beerus, who was in his corner, began to feel weaker as the seconds passed and soon he saw his energy leaving his body and with that much of his power of destruction disappeared, something that made him give a heavy sigh. Daishinkan said, I hope you are a better goddess of destruction than your predecessor Beerus, and I expect great achievements from you. So don't disappoint me and especially don't disappoint Zeno-sama or else we will have to replace you and that's not worth it for you and everyone present in this place. Those who are not doing their job as gods of destruction correctly will be replaced by new gods of destruction and unlike Beerus you will lose your lives. Beerus was an exception and it will not happen again so be aware of that. Spoke the high priest while looking at all the gods of destruction. One year later in some Velixa in Universe 7, one year has passed since the day Yamoshi ended up officially becoming the goddess of destruction of the seventh universe where she did her job as the new goddess of destruction with excellence, doing a much better job than Beerus' job. Yamoshi, every time she worked as a goddess of destruction, she had several thoughts about a new enemy that could appear in the not so distant future and it was something that Wiss realized after a few months and ended up asking why she was with this feeling. But Yamoshi didn't reveal why she was like that. She just said that it was something that was part of her past, one that she thought had already died, but apparently was alive and this caused tremendous anger in Hiroki, but she didn't reveal the witch was, but it makes her very worried. On the planet of the God of Destruction of the Seventh Universe, currently on the planet of the God of Destruction of the Seventh Universe, it was possible to see Yamoshi in his new room looking at a window that overlooked the planet's lake and the new goddess of destruction was only wearing a robe and not her clothes. Goddess of destruction, Yamoshi thought, no matter how much I thought I can't get rid of this feeling that something bad is going to happen in a few years and I'm just waiting for the worst, I feel like I won't be strong enough to defeat this new enemy. So I need to have someone powerful for this and the only way I can think of is to have a child with a powerful man so that our child will be strong enough to defeat this new threat and I already know who this child's father will be even though I don't want him to. Use this method is the only way I have it. I needed at least one night with him, said Yamoshi in her thoughts as she remembered Goku while she looked at the lake and she soon sighed. And Yamoshi went to Wiss where he made a request that he found strange, but after she explained what she thought was happening he understood, and with that Wiss ended up increasing her chances of getting pregnant within 24 hours, and with that Yamoshi ended up calling Goku to go to the planet of the Goddess of Destruction where he ended up training with Yamoshi, and after that they ended up eating several different foods, and among these foods there were several drinks with aphrodisiac effects, and after they ate and the effect of the drinks managed to affect Goku, he and Yamoshi ended up going to her room and had a hot night where Yamoshi ended up getting pregnant. After a few weeks, the confirmation of Yamoshi's pregnancy ended up being revealed by Wiss and with that Yamoshi asked Wiss to speed up the birth of her son and that was what Wiss did in a few seconds, Yamoshi's son was born. 
A little boy very similar to Yamoshi with some Goku's characteristics. Goku after a few weeks ended up finding out that Yamoshi's son was his and Yamoshi apologized for making Goku cheat on his wife, but it was something that was necessary, but it wasn't something that anyone needed to know at that moment. 13 years later, 13 years had passed since the birth of Goku and Yamoshi's son, during all this time Yamoshi trained him to be a powerful warrior, but as he was also Goku's son they spent time together too. As their son was in Goku's home while Yamoshi was on another planet training some of his techniques, Yamoshi was calmly training her techniques and as there were no living beings on the planet she didn't need to hold back. But in the middle of her training, a black key sphere ended up heading towards Yamoshi, but she managed to hit the sphere, which was redirected to a more distant location and when it hit the ground, a mountain ended up being disintegrated. Yamoshi said, it seems that I was right and you are really alive, but it is a shame that you followed the same path as your father, my son Hercules. She said, looking up at the sky and seeing a man who looked like Hiroki staring at her. Hercules said, you have no right to call me son Yamoshi. You are just the woman who let me die even though I am of your blood and you are also the woman responsible for the death of my father. The one who protected and trained me in the past and thanks to him I am here today. He said while looking at his mother with a look of disgust and anger. Yamoshi said, I never let you die. Your father told me you died and after that I sought revenge against everyone responsible for your death. She shouted while looking at her son. Hercules said, you are more of a liar than my father told me but whatever. I came here today just to let you know that I will come back and I will take revenge on my father and as you took something important from me, I will do the same thing and take something from you and from what I know you have a new son. No. That's it? Enjoy it while it's still alive, because it won't last long. He said looking at his mother who opened her eyes wide, but it didn't take long for Hercules to simply disappear from that place, leaving his mother very angry. Yamoshi said, Hercules your father lied about everything, he manipulated us, but if you don't want to believe me that's okay, I won't let that happen, I will protect my son and even if I have to eliminate you I will do it Hercules. She said while clenching her fists and running towards planet earth to warn about the new threat that was after her son and will probably be an even greater threat than Hiroki. The seventh universe, currently in the seventh universe, more precisely at son Goku's house it was possible to see that he was having a family lunch there where Goku and his family were present including his son with Yamoshi who was training with his two brothers, Gohan and Goten who were surprised to see that their younger half-brother was so young and was already very powerful to the point that they both had to go all out and yet Gohan and Goten had some difficulties, while Yamoshi and Goku's son was using his Super Saiyan transformation because he didn't think it was necessary to use his Super Saiyan God form at that moment and because he didn't know how to control his divine power completely in addition Whis was also present at the place, as he was keeping an eye on the son of Yamoshi who had asked the angel for this. But it didn't take long for the training battle between the three Saiyans to end, as they both felt Yamoshi's energy approaching planet Earth. Something that made his son become a little thoughtful as he could feel people's emotions and that of his mother was very strange. Goku said, Yamato, did something happen for Yamoshi to be coming to planet Earth? It seems like you felt something. Goku said when he noticed that his son had felt strange when he felt his mother's energy. Yamato said, my mother has a very strange aura, she seems to be worried and afraid of something or someone, but this is strange since my mother is the goddess of destruction she shouldn't worry I have no idea why she is like this, but it is worrying. Yamato said as he looked at his father and then looked up at the sky again to see his mother arriving at the scene. Goku said, did something happen Yamoshi? Yamado said that his aura was strange and by the look on his face he was right, so did something happen that made you worried and scared? Goku asked as he approached the current goddess of destruction of the seventh universe and also the mother of his youngest son. Yamoshi said, unfortunately yes, what I feared happened and even though I thought it was impossible to happen, unfortunately it happened. Yamoshi said while looking at Goku and then at his son. Whis said, if it's about what you told me before, then he really is alive, isn't that right Miss Yamoshi? Asked the angel while looking at his goddess of destruction. Yamato said, what is Wiss talking about, mom? Who is really alive? Is Hiroki still alive or did he manage to come back to life? The young Saiyan asked because he didn't understand anything that was happening at that moment. Yamoshi said, Hercules is his older brother, he is alive. 
Before you ask me he is my first son who I had many years ago with Hiroki when we were still a couple. At that time I thought that Hercules had died and blinded by anger I went after those responsible for his death and eliminated them all out of revenge. But in the end I never got to see his body. But at that time I really liked Hiroki, so I believed his word. But I never thought that he would have lied, much less taken our son to a distant place, far from my reach. Yamoshi spoke with a certain regret in her voice as she never really imagined meeting her eldest son again after so many years. Yamato said, So my older brother on my mother's side is alive and now he came after you for revenge, right? If I had to guess I would say that he was manipulated by Hiroki to harbor anger towards you. Hiroki must have invented that you abandoned my brother and now he wants to see you suffering and as I am one of the most important things for you if not the most important thing, my brother will want to kill me, right Ma? Yamato asked, already deducing a large part of what happened to her mother, something that she was surprised about, as was everyone, except Whis who already knew the extent of Yamato's special powers. Yamoshi said, well, I was going to explain what happened in my conversation with Hercules, but you already managed to summarize how my conversation with my son went. Yamoshi said, still surprised by the way his son was able to read his emotions. Chichi said, now that you talked about your other son Hercules, and that he wants to get revenge on you, so was that the big reason that led you to sleep with Goku to have a child with him? Goku's wife asked as she approached with a serious expressive. Yamoshi said, yes, at that time I was having a feeling that something bad was going to happen in the future, and to ensure that there would be a person strong enough to do it, I decided to have a child, but it needed to be with someone strong, so it ended up being with Goku. Yamoshi spoke with shame because he was remembering his night of love with Goku. Goku said, I know that Yamato is my son, since Whis himself confirmed this, but thinking about it now I don't remember anything from that night and that's strange. Goku said while scratching his head, as he knew that Yamato was his son, but he didn't remember anything that had happened that night. Yamoshi said, I admit that I needed to have a child with Goku, but he would never stay with me, so I had to manipulate Goku and make him drink a very strong aphrodisiac drink and we ended up having that night of love. But he doesn't remember because the effects of the drink, which was very strong and from what I saw, Goku was weak with drinks. Yamoshi said, embarrassed at having to use a drink to manipulate Goku, while her face turned red with embarrassment as she remembered the scenes from the night in question. Chi Chi said, so this is the real truth, you got my husband drunk to have a child with him, so that your son would be strong enough to fight your other son? This is the craziest story I've ever heard in my life and this is a very good excuse for sleeping with other people's husbands. Chi Chi spoke with clear anger and mockery in her voice as she looked at Yamoshi who didn't care much about that. Yamoshi said, exactly, but I don't want my son fighting against Hercules, I'm both their mother and I don't want to see my children killing each other because of the mistake of that idiot Hiroki who just wanted to see me suffer, so I just came to warn you that Yamato will stay with you for a while Goku, until I can solve this problem with Hercules and since Yamato will be with you I will feel better knowing that he is with his father and you are strong enough to protect him and the rest of your family. Goku said, okay, I'm going to take advantage and warn all the other Z warriors and I'm also going to ask for help from Beerus who, by the way, is on a distant island that belongs to the Capsule Corporation. I'm going to warn them all to prepare for a future enemy that we will have to face. Yamato said, Mom, if Hercules is like his father, Hiroki, then he must also have a very powerful evil energy and won't be defeated easily, so how will you be able to defeat my brother? Yamoshi said, I'm going to go to the Daishinkan and get Excalibur again and this time it won't be Goku who will use it but me, so you don't need to worry about me. Wiz said, so let's go Miss Yamoshi. She asked the angel, already ready to go to the place where her father should be together with Excalibur. Yamoshi spoke telepathically, Goku, I don't know if I'll be able to do what I have to do so there's a good chance I'll end up dying, but if I die, take care of our son and if Hercules tries to get to you and Yamato, eliminate Hercules without thinking twice just like you did with Hiroki. Yamoshi spoke telepathically to Goku, who upon hearing just nodded in agreement and with that she smiled and soon disappeared in a pillar of energy alongside Whis. Yamato thought, I hope you don't die mom. The boy thought when he saw his mother leaving in that pillar of light. With this we will end today's video. 
If you want to see the continuation of this incredible story, leave a lot of like on the video and comment and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you another day guys.